what is means simply means it is dividing the sum of all value in a data by the number of values calculation of mean under ungrouped data can be done under three methods one is direct method assumed mean method and step deviation methods wherever you go so there will be an usage of an average so this is a popular method in statistics to summarize the data Hello everybody I am your Divya ma'am lecturing with Yashram Pre University College Mysuru the Temple of Excellence Today I welcome you all for the session 1 that's your chapter number 5 measure of central tendency so this is very important topic for you my dear students the topic for today's discussion introduction meaning what is arithmetic mean under that what are the different methods we use direct method assumed mean method step deviation methods and the problem so in the previous chapters everything we have learned about the theories but in today's chapter we will be able to understand what are the practical problems that we are learning for so practical problems is very important in your examination so in this chapter you will be able to understand so what is arithmetic mean what is measure of central tendency so popularly called as an average so under average what are the popularly used averages we have what is arithmetic mean what is mean median and mode and we'll be discussing three different methods under the calculation today so we are only dealing with group data today moving forward so let us understand first what is measure of central tendency is all about suppose let's assume you people are into your ptm parent teachers meeting in your college so in your college they'll provide you the mark sheet with respect to 600 marks so out of 600 marks you people have scored 565 marks so when your parents see this 565 marks what they feel they feel that my daughter or my son is performing well in the examination so that is what they feel so based on this marks they judge you people based on this marks they decide whether you are a good student or a bad student whether you need to improvise in your study so all this information through what you're getting through an average marks what is this average marks of various subjects let's assume accountancy business business economics computer science statistics so all the marks together will be put in into an average mark and that mark is called as 565 so based on this only they think that the performance is good or bad similarly we have measure of central tendency measure of central tendency means what average so when you get a mass economic data to take up to analyze all the data it will be very difficult Difficult to simply take up the average of that economic data, and that is called as measure of central tendency. Simply mean average. So in this chapter, you will study the measure of central tendency, which is numerical method to explain the data. So in the previous chapter, we have organized the data, we have collected the data, then we have put into a tabular form and we have presented it in a beautiful manner. But here we will be able to solve the problem by using this numerical method called measure of central tendency. so you can see so these are the day to day activities that happens regularly how the average will be used how measure of central tendency will be used in your day to day life so like average marks obtained by a student of a class in a test so average of a marks will be taken and based on that average marks only you will be taken decision whether to promote the student or whether to retain the students and average rainfall in an area so everywhere you doesn't take the entire data value you only take up what the average so what is this average this average includes all the observation all the values 
in an area average production in a factory average income of a person living in a locality so working in a firm so all this any activities if you say wherever you go so there will be an usage of an average so this is a popular method in statistics to summarize the data moving further when the data collected is large so when you get large number of data it is very difficult to analyze the same unless it is put into one single value so based on the single value you take up the decision so average marks is how much 565 so based on this 565 they take up the decision so what is the average production 50 tons in a factory so what is this 50 tons it is a production that has happened in a factory so based on this one single value they take up the decisions next the most commonly used averages are as i have told you arithmetic mean median and mode so in today's class in depth we will be discussing about arithmetic mean moving forward what is this arithmetic mean what is mean mean is simply that nothing but the average of all the observation so how do you avail the mean by uh, adding all the observation divided by total number of observation so total number of observation and the individual value so individual value divided by total number of observation you will get what you will get your mean so what is mean simply means it is dividing the sum of all value in a data by the number of value so what is the sum for example 50 60 70 80 is the number you will add all those things and what are the number of observation number of observations will be 5 so adding all the observation divided by n is called as mean so by adding all the sum of all the values by dividing by the number of values you get what mean moving further so how do you calculate the mean so mean is calculated based on two categories one is arithmetic mean for ungrouped data and the second is arithmetic mean for grouped data so we will be solving the problems in today's class based on ungrouped data so what is this ma'am you should ask me what is this ma'am grouped data and ungrouped data so ungrouped data is are the data which doesn't have any class interval grouped data has certain classes like 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 40 to so this have certain class we have certain class and based on that class what we are doing we are calculating so this is grouped data what is this ungrouped data the data will be available in a individual value let's assume 50 mark 60 mark 70 mark 90 mark 110 mark so what is this it is a individual value so this is ungrouped data and this is grouped data so in today's class we will be solving the problem based on ungrouped data so you will be getting only the individual series so when individual series how to solve the problem when discrete series a discrete means one more variable will be there x assume this is x and one more variable will be f so when you have discrete series how to solve the problem and when we have continuous series how to solve the problem so we have to understand so in today's class we'll be discussing about when individual series when individual variable is given how can we solve the problem and calculate the mean so this is individual series this if it is two variable is given x and f then it becomes discrete series and when the series are into grouped data it becomes continuous series when you have continuous class interval so for all this data we have to solve the problem so in today's class let us discuss regarding the individual series under ungrouped data moving further as i have told you 
So for calculating mean, to again simplify, to again simplify the solution, we have three methods. One is direct method, the other is the assume mean method and the step deviation method. So calculation of mean under ungrouped data can be done under three methods. One is direct method, assumed mean method and step deviation method. So we have to solve. So in your examination, they might ask you calculate the mean for the following data by using step deviation method. So you have to understand all the three problems, all the three formula. So what is direct method formula? X bar. So mean is indicated in what? X bar. So X bar is equal to mean is equal to sigma X divided by N. Simply as I have told you know how to calculate the mean. Sum of all the observation divided by the number of observation what you get? You get is mean. So sigma X divided by N. So the formula for direct method is what? Sigma X divided by by n. So my dear students note down the formula for direct method. So to calculate the mean for your ungrouped data. So the value will be what? X bar is equal to the formula X bar is equal to sigma X divided by n. So arithmetic mean by direct method is the sum of all observation in the series divided by total number of observation. So we have a question here to solve example number one. Calculate arithmetic mean from the data showing marks of a student in a class in an economic test. So what data we have? Economic test. Students have scored certain marks. So what are the marks? 40 mark, 50, 55, 78 and 58. So that is the data given to us. So let us solve the problem. So X, what is the X? X is nothing but marks of a student. Marks of student. So marks of a student that is scored in economics. So what are the marks? X is equal to 40, 50, 55, 78, 58. So what is this? This is the x. Now law, what we have to do by doing, by applying the direct method formula. What is the formula? x bar is equal to sigma x divided by n. So let us find what is n. n is nothing but the number of observations. So in a given set of data, how many numbers are there? Number of observations are there? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So what is the number of observation? n is what? 5. So n will be what? Your 5. What is sigma x? So let's sum, summarize the data by using the calculator. We have how many? 40 plus 50 plus 55 plus 78 plus 58. What the value we get? 281. Sigma x is equal to how much? 281. So 281 divided by the number of observation divided by 5, you get almost the value that is 56.2. What is the answer that you get? 56.2 is the value that to be get. So I'm moving out of this uh, screen. You can take up the screenshot of this. So we have done the direct method. So the this is the question given and this is the solution we have made. Moving forward, we have assumed mean method. So assumed mean method, as I have told you, when you take up the large number of data, so figures are in large it is very difficult for you to compute the arithmetic mean by direct methods. In the previous slide, we have seen the data was very small. It was only the fine number of observation. But when the data is given in a large number, it will be very difficult to solve the problem by using direct methods. So we have another method called assumed mean method. So the formula for assumed mean method is equal to x bar is equal to a plus sigma d divided by n. So A stands for assumed mean sigma 
T, D stands for deviation and N is the number of observation. So, assumed mean, individual observation, total number of observation and D stands for deviation of assumed frame from the individual observation. So, how to find out D? D is equal to X minus A that is X minus assumed mean. Moving further, let us solve a problem of assumed mean method. So, the following data shows the weekly income of 10 families. So, it, it shows what? A weekly income of 10 families. So, the family A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. So, how many number of observation we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So, the number of observation is how much? 10. So, what is this weekly income? Let's consider this as X. So, let's consider this as X. 850, 700, 100, 750, 5000, 80 and 420, 2500, 400 and 360. Compute mean family income. So, we have to calculate what mean. Moving forward, so we have a families that is 10 observation, we have income and we are following the D. So, keep this as of now, don't look at this, that is D dash. So, in the next upcoming slide, I will be explaining what is D dash is all about. So, as of now, we will only look after these three columns. So, this is what your number of observation, this is X, that is income and this is the deviation. So, let us substitute the formula by calculating assumed mean method in order to compute the mean. So, assumed mean method formula for mean is equal to x bar is equal to a plus sigma d divided by n. So, what is assumed mean? As I have told you, assumed mean any number of in the x column, we can take it as assume mean. Anything, any number we can use as a assume mean. So, let us take assume mean as what? 850. So, what is assumed mean? 850. So, now let us calculate 850. Now, let us calculate what? The D. So, how to find out D deviation? X minus A. So, what is X? 850. And what is A? Assumed mean is what? 850. Okay, so what is x? x is 850 and what is assumed mean? 850. So, we have to subtract. So, 850 minus 850 it will be 0. 700 minus 850 it will be minus 150. 100 minus 850 it will be what? Minus 170. So, 750 minus 850 it will be minus 100. 5000 minus 850 it is how much? plus 4150 and 80 minus again 850 it is how much minus 770 420 if you subtract with the assumed mean it will be what minus 430 so if you do all this you will get it what your sigma d so by adding all this the value of sigma d will be what plus 2660 so what is this sigma D. So, what is this? Sigma D. So, as per the formula, we have got assumed mean, we have got sigma D and number of observations. Let us put all the values into the formula and solve the problem. So, A is equal to assumed mean is equal to 850. Sigma D is how much? 2660. So, what is 850 is the assumed mean? Sigma D 2660 and divided by total number of observation is how much? It is 10. So, if you compute, what will be the answer? So, let us solve it by using a calculator. So, 2660 divided by 10, it will be how much? 260. So, 850 plus 260, how much it will be? It will be 1,100.
116. So what is the mean value that we have got? By using this assumed mean method, 1116 is the mean. So this is the formula for assumed mean method. So this D dash we will do use in step deviation method. So you can use this direct method formula also and compute the value. So what is the sigma x? So what is direct method formula? Sigma x divided by n. So what is sigma x? 11,160 is the sigma x value and what is the number of observation we have? 10. So if you just divide 11,160 divided by 10, again the value will be what? 1,116. Again mean by using direct method also the value will be the same. If you use again the assumed mean method also the value will be the same and again if you use the step deviation method also the answer you will get the same. The only thing is the answers what you want will be the similar one but the computation will be very easy. In order to make the things easy, they have different methods to be followed for calculating the mean. Moving forward, interpretation for the problem. Thus, the average weekly income of a family by both methods, direct method as well as assumed mean method as well as step deviation method also, the value will be the same itself. Step deviation method the calculation can be further simplified as I have told you to simplify the further calculation we have step deviation method. So in this what is extra common difference is extra only the common difference we'll see. So this is the formula for step deviation method x bar is equal to a plus sigma d dash divided by n into C. As I have told you, common factor is extra. We have uh, X bar is equal to arithmetic mean. A stands for assumed mean. How to find out D dash? X minus A divided by C. You will find D dash. C is a common factor and N is the number of observation. With the same example, let us solve the D dash as well. So what is the formula for that? The formula is A sigma x bar is equal to a plus sigma d dash divided by n into c. So let's put the formula x bar is equal to a plus sigma d dash divided by n into c. What is this common factor? The difference between the number. Here in this problem we are assuming the common factor as 10 but how to find out the common factor? Usually the difference in the in that is the x series that will be given for example 0 to 10 and 10 to 20 the common difference is 10 suppose uh, the data is given as 0 to 5 and again 5 to 10 10 10 to 15 so the common difference will be 5 so like that we are assuming here as what 10 so the common difference is what 10 so how to find out this d dash again the families x series and d dash we have to look after here. So how to find out d dash? x minus a divided by c. What is x? 850 is the assumed mean we have taken and what is the common difference that is there? Common factor that we have taken that is 10. So x minus assumed mean divided by 10 you get what? d dash. So 850 minus 850 divided by 10 it will it will be how much 0 so again 700 minus 850 divided by 10 you will get minus 15 for the further simplification we have the step deviation method so again 100 100 minus 850 divided by 10 you will get minus 75 so by computing all this if you summarize the entire column then you will get sigma d dash so what is sigma d dash assumed mean is how much 850 plus what is sigma d dash 266 divided by what is number of observation 
10 into C. If you solve it again, the value will be 1116 itself will be the mean. So in your examination, if they ask you, you have to solve the problem by using any of the methods. So they give you the question. So find out the mean, compute the mean using step deviation method. Then the formula will be A plus sigma d dash divided by n into c. So direct method formula sigma x divided by n. So assumed mean method formula a plus sigma d divided by n and your step deviation method a plus sigma d dash divided by n into c. So this is the three formula for individual series. So this is what individual series under ungrouped data. Moving forward, so we have discussed, so let us, so people take out the, please take up the screenshot of this and I'll be moving out of the screen. So thus, you can calculate the arithmetic mean in the example 2 as well by using the step deviation method. So that's it for today. Hope the problem whatever I have taught you people you have learned and uh, whatever doubt you have the ashram is there to help you out 24 bar 7. Any doubt you can contact us with respect to statistics. Thank you once again for joining me. Have a great day and keep smiling. Smile is the biggest jewel you can wear. Thank you so much.